Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and let's go ahead and do another Drake tutorial. As you may have heard in the last video, I will be putting together Drake tutorials that will lead us up to Drake's new album, Views from the Six. I want to put these together just so you guys get an idea of how to program or produce beats in the style of Drake. Because who knows, Drake's always making music, maybe you guys can be the next producer on his next song, next album, next hit. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create those cool, intricate hi-hat patterns that Drake usually has in his tracks. And here is the groove that we'll be working off of. So we just got an 808 and a clap and snare layered together. For the 808 is a Logic uh, ES2 preset that I made. I did a tutorial on this on how to create a nice clean 08 like this one. Click the link in the top left hand corner if you want to make your 808s from scratch. And uh, now let's get to the tutorial at hand which is creating nice uh, hi-hat uh, pattern that Drake does in his tracks. So the first thing that I like to do is of course get a hi-hat. So there it is right there. And I just like to brush in my uh, hi-hats all the way through. So I'm just going to delete this here. And then I'm going to create the pattern by removing or maybe adding notes into the pattern. So right now we're going to start off with something like this. So the first thing we're going to do is going to take out some notes here. Um, Take out this one, maybe. Take out another couple here. Maybe we'll take out this here. Let's just start with a two bar just to make this a little bit easier for myself here. something like this. I think I like that. And maybe we'll take it to the end here. All right, so we kind of got a nice little groove right there. Now we're going to add in some of those stutter hi-hats that Drake puts in his tracks, those kind of quick stutter hi-hat hits. And I'm going to change my uh, template here or my grid to a 30-second note value just so I can uh, get in those stutters here. So I'm just going to make this smaller. So we're going to start off with a nice stutter because Drake usually does that, and it kind of sets the tone for the hi-hat groove. Put another stutter here. All right, that sounds pretty cool. Maybe we'll put in another stutter here. Now again, you're going to be doing this off the feeling. I'm just kind of showing you a template on what you can use to kind of get those, or rather to kind of get the groove of a Drake track. Maybe we'll end it off with a stutter here as well. All right, I kind of like that groove right there. Now we're just going to pretty much duplicate this to the second portion of our uh, our next two bars. But we're, what we're going to do is kind of change up the groove a little bit. You don't want your hi-hats to keep repeating at the same value. You kind of want to 
change it up every now and then. Uh, so what I'm pretty much just going to do here is I'm just going to take this third note right here, mute it, and just take it out of the equation. And um, let's see, maybe let's play it back and hear what we can do. Kind of could change it up like that. You can go in and start muting things, taking things out, uh, putting things in, maybe adding some stuff. I don't know, but this is just sort of a starter idea of how to create a nice pattern for Drake hi hats, right? And then, if you wanted faster hi hat hits, you can kind of change the grid to a 64th value. And let's zoom in in here. Maybe we'll add uh, some 64th notes here. So you're pretty much playing around with the different grid patterns, grid lengths, and kind of putting in your uh, your notes as such. Now, of course, all my hi-hats now are hitting at a stagnant uh, 80 right here. So we're just going to make sure that this kind of doesn't get too robotic. And we're going to kind of randomize our velocity hits right here. So we're going to do random velocity. And we're just going to go start from 80 because that's where we're at right now. And we'll put it to 120. Maybe we'll drop it down to 70. Go select and operate. And now we got some hi-hats at hitting at different uh, velocities so it doesn't sound so robotic. So that's how you program Drake hi-hats right there. Again, this is by no means exactly how you do it, but of course use some creativity and you could kind of use this as a template to get you started to create that nice intricate hi-hat groove pattern. I will be saving this um, MIDI pattern right here as a download so you guys can find the link to download this hi-hat MIDI groove in the description box below. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just add in the 808s as well just so you guys get an idea of how to uh, get some Drake 808s going as well. So you can find those both in the description box below. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you are new to I'm a Music Mogul, remember to hit that subscribe button for more good videos like these. And I'll see you all in the next one for another Drake tutorial. See you all guys later. Peace.